right, Keith is with us now. Um, I don't know any other way to put it except mm. it was chilly out there today. Yes. It's a cold one. So legit, are we talking about like, I'll, I'm a hands in the pocket guy uh, until yeah. it gets to the point where like, I have to bring the real gloves out. Yeah. And I'm, I'm right there right now. I had gloves and then hands in pockets. It was double kind of day. Double, yep. yeah. No, it was cold. And we've got one more cold night coming. It's 23 already in Portland, so you can see where this is going. 20 in Topsom. And uh, let's see, West Cassidy at 22. 12 in Rangeley already. We're going to be below zero there. 10 in Bangor already. That's a cold spot, too. In fact, it makes me rethink my five for a low tonight in Bangor. If we're already at 10. Um, they've been dropping a lot. They got to two below a couple of nights ago. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Inland will probably be in the single digits easily. Freiburg, zero or a little bit below zero. Along the coast, 10 to 15 will do it for most of us. So well below average, about 10 degrees below our average low for this time of the year. Now, tomorrow starts off chilly, obviously, because it's going to be cold tonight. But we are able to recover by tomorrow afternoon into the mid 30s in quite a few spots. I mean, it's not balmy, but better than where we've been at. And that has to do with a moderating air mass that gets even warmer overnight Friday as a warm front moves through. And so by Saturday, we've got a good amount of cloud cover around. Maybe not quite as much as this model's depicting, but I think a good amount of clouds. But temperatures are about 40 to 45 along the coast, about 40 flat inland, and then probably upper 30s into the mountains. So it will be more comfortable. And we'll roll that right into Sunday. A lot of cloud cover, warmer temperatures, likely able to get into the upper 40s to around 50 on Sunday afternoon. And then here comes our front from the west late on Sunday. Holding off the rain until after sunset, not a high bar this time of the year when the sun sets at 345. I'm making that up, but it's around that time. It's very early. So we'll see that rain move into Oxford County by just about sunset. It's not the rain I'm worried about. That comes in Sunday night into early Monday. It's the wind potential. We talked about this all week. Pretty sharp front. But one thing that's helped us here in recent model runs is this low has become less and less occluded, meaning the low is not wrapped back towards Toronto. It's actually now going to be placed more over Maine. And typically, that'll actually help us with winds out of the south-southeast. So I still think it's going to be windy on Sunday night into Monday morning. In fact, here's a look at the computer model wind gusts, about 40 along the coastline. Uh, this is Monday morning, 3 a.m. Through the morning commute, we're gusting to up to 50 miles an hour. And a few spots being depicted here at 59, 62, you can see into parts of down east Maine. So we'll watch that. But I feel a little bit better about the winds today than I did over the last few days because that low is sitting over us. So we'll still have power outages. But I think if we can keep that low over us, not to the west, we should be able to... Um, kind of weather the worst of this and not see a huge amount of outages. Other things to consider here, Alex, <clears throat> we've got no leaves on the trees, as you may have noticed in the yeah. depressing landscape we call Maine in December. Um, but that helps us, right? You know, you don't have as much sail effect to the wind. And the other thing is um, the ground in a couple of spots, especially inland, is pretty well frozen. Yep. Makes it harder to uproot trees. So I think all that's working for us. So we'll have power outages there Sunday night, Monday. But I'm uh, hopeful that it will not be on a huge scale at yep. this time. So we'll okay. keep an eye on that. We'll liken those 50s on there. It's yeah, all that's right. nice. Thank you, Keith.